Welcome to Around the World Channel. Biden invites Russia, China to first global climate talks, Associated Press. Washington, AP, President Joe Biden is including rivals Vladimir Putin of Russia and Xi Jinping of China among the invitees to the first big climate talks of his administration, an event the U.S. Biden urges Congress to pass election reform in wake of Georgia voting restrictions, Politico. Biden also said that both the White House and the Justice Department were looking into potential action related to voting rights in Georgia. Case of Brazilian COVID-19 variant confirmed in Wisconsin, WISN Milwaukee. Madison, Wisconsin. A case of the Brazilian COVID-19 variant has been confirmed in Wisconsin, along with a second confirmed case of the South African variant. Jeep. Dodge maker Stellantis temporarily closing five North American plants due to chip shortage, CNBC. A global shortage of semiconductor chips is forcing Stellantis to temporarily close five North American plants starting next week, the company confirmed Friday afternoon. ID at Xbox Showcase reveals 20 new games heading to Game Pass, VentureBeat. Twitch and Microsoft's ID at Xbox event today confirmed that 20 new indie games are coming to Xbox Game Pass the same day they hit Xbox. Apple releases iOS 14.4.2 and Watch OS 7.3.3 to close an active vulnerability, and Gadget, and Gadget. Apple has released two new minor updates for iOS and watchOS devices. The company recommends all users download iOS 14.4.2 and watch OS 7.3.3 as soon as possible. Like iOS 14.4.1 and macOS 11.2. Falling SpaceX debris puts on a light show in the sky, space.com. If you live in the U.S. Pacific Northwest, you may have seen a strange meteor streaking across the sky Thursday night, March 25. Harley Quinn has new bad guy allies in the Suicide Squad Red Band trailer, Ars Technica. 52 with 40 posters participating Ul Joel Kinnaman is back as Colonel Rick Flagg, heroic leader of Task Force X, a.k.a. the Suicide Squad. Delay on Suez Canal could cripple already struggling auto industry, NBC News. The blockage in the Suez Canal is straining an already struggling automotive industry, and further delays could create shortages in the U.S. Gaming firm Razer Greenlight's high-tech N95 face mask, says report, CNET. The Project Hazel N95 facial respirator from gaming gear maker Razer is set to become a reality, CEO Min Liang Tan told Yahoo Finance. Please, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay tuned for upcoming news.